right. Hello everyone. I am glad you could all make it to the board meeting on time. Uh, unlike some of you who consistently push the limits of my patience every time we do this by being late. Not naming any names. Rachel. Anyway, moving on. For those who don't know who I am, my name is Brian Nielsen. Yes, the same Brian Nielsen who is also your CEO. And no, please do not ask me why I am Asian and why I have the surname Nielsen. It's complicated. So I'm sure you're all aware that we're here today to have a look at our company. So what's what and who's who? Shifana will be running you through all our key issues. Donna over there will explain what strategies we use and why we use them. David, when the imbecile gets here, it, is he late again? When he gets here, he'll be going over the balanced scorecard. And Shamini will provide the recommendations on things we can do to make this place more successful. Because success, right now, ladies and gentlemen, is what we need. I'm sure none of you need me to explain the gravitas of our situation. I think that's Latin for gravity. Uh, something. Guys, we have been here since 1992, starting in a cardboard box in the middle of God knows where Ohio producing electrical components for automotive manufacturers and companies. We became successful. We, we became competitive. But somehow, somewhere down the track, we let things slip. The stock kept dropping. Our 2012 revenues were worse than our 2010 revenues, which was, <laughs> I'm sure we all know how not good that was. Our material and production costs were rising, and we were losing out to our competitors. But this is where we turn around. So here's what we've been doing, and how we've been doing it. Hello everyone, I'm Shifana. I'm going to explain the key issues of the Delta Signal Corporation. I will start by explaining the internal issue. Delta Signal did not have any strategic direction and was missing both emission, vision and business and corporate level strategies. This made it confusing for employees and managers because they had a lack of knowledge about the strategy. They were not clear on goals and objectives to make the business successful. And the issue is that we were trying to service all customers in a number of international markets. As a result, we had 2,000 products and 100 separate production lines. It is difficult to produce products to serve all customer segments. As a result, we were not market leading in of any of our products. Therefore, we did not have a sustainable competitive advantage. Furthermore, our product cost keep going up however our sales are declining along with our revenue and profit we also have high revolutionary among com competitors which has resource in market share loss in order to the external issue we expanded the business in asia in order to support the scale of global economy which is saying the lower price cost will generate more market shares in the future because the developing markets like Asia are willing to undertake the economical segments. However, almost the entire competitors of Delta Signal rush to establish their business in Asia. Also, the recent changes in the legislation of Chinese government required OEMs needs to share its technology with the government in order to trade their vehicles in that country. This issue might also affect Delta Signal in the future because we might have the similar pressure to share their own technology with other countries. This might lead the Chinese government to become a strong substitute of Delta Signal in the future. But on the other hand, this result to lead the luxury OEMs in Europe and the United States to capture the business by the Delta Signal on traditional expertise in research and development. So the Delta Signal needs to capitalize on the shortage of competitive nuts in the luxury segment in order to sustain its competitive advantage. Thank you. Hi, this is Donna at Delta Signal and I'm just going to present the strategies that we used and the reasons why. So we redefined the strategy to lead the business to success by focusing on the luxury segments. Um, the approach was to focus on resource leveraging as the business levels leverage level strategy with an inside out stakeholder value perspective. Um, the strategy heavily invested in resources 
And the reason was because we wanted to focus on internal skills and the value chain capability. So that way we could be market leading in research and development, innovation and technology. This approach delivered results by growing our workforce with desirable intellectual property through intangible assets. And uh, the result was employees were able to identify market insights to predict the future market needs and quickly adapt to provide suitable offerings. The corporate level, level strategy focused on the portfolio organization perspective strategy, which emphasized responsiveness over achieving synergies. This was achieved by fostering a culture that promotes research and development innovation and um, the ability to target emerging market needs. However, synergies were also gained by positioning, uh, by proposition tactics, by concentrating on products offered to highly valued markets in America and Europe, as well as reducing the product offering throughout Asia, since the lowest cost producer is not aligned to our strategy since we're focused on the luxury segments. We have learned that our key strategic capability is innovative product development, um, technology expertise and identifying market insights from superior intangible intellectual property. Overall, our strategy is one that rivals will find difficult to imitate and will take years um, to build a similar capability within their own businesses. Therefore, our strategy has provided a sustainable competitive advantage, which will continue to be successful for us in the long term. Um, before we go on, uh, Brian, uh, I mean, Mr. Nielsen, um, could you have at least warned me a little bit before you put on the exact same shirt that I was wearing? I'm just saying, it's it's a little weird. It's not weird. Yes, yeah, it is. It's not. Eh. No, not weird. It's weird. Nope. Yeah. Anyway... Hello everyone, my name is David and I'll be going through the balance scorecard results that were achieved through the simulation. Uh, we needed to look at long-term growth and progress as this was the basis, or well, this is the basis uh, for sustainable competitive advantage. The way we do this is through a balance scorecard. So we have goals and metrics within four separate perspectives, uh, that being financial, uh, customer, internal process and learning and growth. Uh, so let's look at the most important, obviously, of our, uh, which is our financial metrics. So these figures and metrics are also available for you to have a look at on the back of your reports, which we've handed out to everybody. Um, and those listening by e-conference, please refer to the attachments that we've sent to your inboxes. Uh, so, okay. We had four objectives that we needed to hit, four big ones. Increase sales, improve on our gross margin improve on our return on equity, and obviously, to keep the investors happy, maximize our dividends per share. Uh, our first metric, sales. So we had a target of increasing sales by 50% once we reached last period. Uh, so what started in Q0 as 480 million ended in Q8 with over $893 million, exceeding our target significantly. Uh, increasing our dividends per share was a uh, success. So uh, we surpassed that target, uh, which was $5, and ended with a figure of $8.46 per share. Uh, here's where things don't go quite as planned. Our gross margin ended just 0.94% away from hitting its target of 25%. And our return on equity was a mere 0.23% away from reaching its target of 12.95%. Oh, so close. Uh, despite the shortcomings, our positive growth in all the financial areas proved that the steps Delta Signal uh, uh, was taking are indeed the right ones. So this in turn obviously makes us more attractive to potential clients, uh, future customers, and also uh, potential future investors. So what ties the balance scorecard all together is our strategy map. Uh, used to visually, obviously, display the strategic direction of Delta Signal and linking together the initiatives which we believe will put us in the right position. 
So with a focus on product innovation through leveraging our resources, uh, obviously in the luxury car segment, we have placed a strong emphasis on research and development, uh, technological and innovation initiatives. So the metrics are obviously available there for everyone to see. Uh, I'm not going to sit here and hold everyone's hand through each and every single metric because that would be a waste of time. Uh, it's boring and I'm sure none of you want to hear it. So looking at the metrics overall, we can see a positive growth. Uh, this is clearly evident in our stock market value per share. Uh, that We had a target there of $100 and we ended with $111, well, uh, slightly over $111. So there are, however, some metrics that do stand out. Uh, say if you pay attention to MP5, projects advancing to the next development stage, you'll see that it's flatlined the whole way through from left to right. So this is due to a number of things. Uh, the team being unable to figure out which initiative was necessary to try and bolster that metric, or throughout the entire process, the team didn't feel that it was important enough to try and even place any money there. Obviously, we can see now that that's wrong, uh, as it's uh, there's an exclamation point next to that metric, and uh, we should have paid more attention to that. Uh, so if you look at, say, uh, MC5, MC9, MP11, and ML13, the, the graphs, you will notice that they're all bell-shaped curves, up and then down. So what this shows is how the team has initially selected these, uh, placed appropriate initiatives in place to try and boost these metrics, only to then either shift the priorities away and place the money into other objectives, uh, or not being patient enough to see them grow and then pulled out eventually like that. Uh, so what could have happened was we placed money into some of those certain metrics, they grew, others started to decline, and they got really bad to the point where we decided, okay, uh, our priority here is to, we need to pull money away because we have a budget of uh, 25 million. And uh, so once you reach the cap, we there is it's sometimes necessary to pull away from some and to place into others. So this shows us how important it is sometimes for the team to make effective investments uh, and it's and the requirement that it is sometimes actually necessary to be patient in order to see results from certain initiatives such as employee training. Uh, one of the learning and growth initiatives that we implemented was the Balanced Scorecard Communications Program. Uh, this was implemented as a means to educate employees uh, across the entire organization about the Balanced Scorecard and help them develop uh, develop balance scorecards of their own uh, for their own unit and for personal goals as well. Uh, so this helps the organization align itself with the overall business and corporate level strategies. Uh, and as a result of this, it has allowed our strategy map to be used very effectively in order to achieve the positive growth in our metrics, which can be seen. Hi, I'm Shamini. Uh, we would like to close this with a recommendation for future action. This strategy we implement these resource leveraging to build the innovation capabilities. The success about this strategy and company performance, we would like to continue to produce high quality of innovation product to our luxury segment OEM customer. Based on the our recommendation, our first recommendation is buy out suppliers in order to achieve economies of scale. DSC could achieve economies of scale through corporate growth direction of backward vertical integration into supplier business. In order to gain greater control over inbound logistics, what is essentially mean is that DS will buy out supplier and in order to gain economies of scale. This would result in competitive advantage as it enables to cheaper production and easier implementation of improved product features and innovation. Our second recommendation is would be for DSC to continue reducing the product lines in order to focus our resource, resource and development and innovation effort into a smaller number of items. This would allow to reduce cost from having too many products available or to be manufactured. 
The second is would allow to DSC to become high specialized in innovative and technological advan advancement for these few products. These recommendations, if utilized, would allow DSC, DSC to have a sustainable competitive advantage. Thank you. Hi, my name is Donna at Delta Signal and I'm going to be referring to the strategies that we used and the reasons why and um, how it did not. Based on that, our first recommendation is bias by, by out. I'm literally going to read this, it's going to be boring as about it. It's all good. Did you just record that? <laughs> Come on, get in there. Yeah. Right. Wait a bloody minute, what's going on here?